Another call today to change the laws that dictate where you can buy alcohol in B.C. The head of B.C.'s Restaurant Association wants beer and wine sold in supermarkets. But as Tim Weeks explains, not everyone is thrilled with the idea. So basically what we're doing is we're doing a prototype. Haywire is a relatively new winery based in Summerland. It produces three wines now. Christine Coletta believes giving customers the chance to buy wines in their local supermarket would help her and the whole industry here. You know, there's 200 plus wineries in British Columbia now. We're all working really hard to do a great job and deliver good product. Um, so if we can get better distribution for our wines, that would be fantastic. She says food and wine is a basic pairing and supermarkets should sell both. With the province set to review its liquor laws, many are saying it's time for a change that would allow that. That would be very convenient for me. <laughs> I think it would be convenient, because I think in the United States, all the grocery stores do. Some groups say the province should be listening. The common sense would say that, you know, why are we not going to grocery stores and being able to buy wine? Not everyone is in favor. As far back as the 80s, calls to sell beer and wine in food stores drew protests. Some worried about loss of union jobs, others about making alcohol too widely available. It's a worry some consumers still share. If you put it into grocery stores, it just makes it more accessible, and I don't think it's the right idea. The province has said it's considering some changes to the province's liquor laws and is looking at what the possible implications would be. For now, alcohol producers are hopeful about seeing their own product on store shelves. I would love to be able to go to the corner store and get a bottle of haywire. I think it would be great. At this point, though, it appears those bottles could be very well aged before any decision is made about selling them in the supermarket. Two weeks, CBC News, Vancouver.